Good morning, everyone. It is Monday, May 25th, and about 74 degrees here with a real fill of 82 in Gracias Limpira. And it's only 9 o'clock in the morning. Um, today is my day to be able to go out and do my business. So I can go to the grocery store, the pharmacy. I need to go to the gas station. Um, and I need to put that on my list because I forgot to put that down. But it is my first time to be able to go out and purchase provisions since May 11th. So I'm permitted to go out and do business um, one day every two weeks along with the rest of the population. Um, we each have an assigned day depending on the last digit of our ID number. So today is number six, which is me. And so stores will be open between nine and four, nine and four. Um, and so today I'm going to be able to go out and buy what I need for the next two weeks, which isn't that hard to do, but the, the, the bigger task to do is to be able to provide food baskets for our, the families in our ministry for the next two weeks, as well as some of the others that we've been able, that we've heard about that are in need during this time, whether that's family of some of our families or neighbors of our families. Um, today's going to be a little bit of a bigger purchase day and I just want to, and that's just because you guys have been so faithful in giving that we were able to do this. Um, you guys responded very quickly, very generously, and have been very faithful in giving, um, extra funds needed during this time to be able to purchase these ongoing food baskets for now more than 70 days. I have no idea what day this is, <laughs> but I do know it's more than 70 days, um, that many, um, here in Honduras have been without work, without, without money, without food. Um, and so we're able to help um, just a few of the families who are able, that we are able to get to and be able to do that. So I'm going to try and do a short mini video as we go through the stores and show you what it looks like um, purchasing food baskets <laughs> one day a week, every two weeks. Um, and um, I told my mom this morning, it's kind of like, I feel like it's um, Black Friday shopping but every two weeks because you have to like strategize everything. Okay, which store do we go to first? Where do, what do we buy from which store? And, and all of that. So we're gonna try and give you a glimpse of what it looks like. <laughs> newest stores, it's grocery stores here in Gracias. So we've got two new grocery stores this past year. This one is called Despensa Familiar. It is actually our first chain grocery store here in Gracias and it is actually owned by Walmart. So this is our Walmart of Gracias Limpira. And I really do enjoy this store because the things in it are very consistent and the aisles are spaced and there are carts and that's really exciting. So I'm gonna head on up there now. Um, I will be getting hand sanitizer given to me by the store security guard as well as my shoes will either be sprayed with um, a disinfectant or I will have to walk on a mat that has disinfectant on it and I hear that we may be getting our temperature checked as well so let's go find out no se paro. through the first store. Had to go back in the second time to get my stuff. Um, so for the food baskets here, I got spaghetti, spaghetti sauce, um, what's it called? Like a shortening. Um, we got toilet paper, we got soap, we got chickens, we got some cornflakes because I promised one of our boys some cornflakes. Um, we got I don't remember what all else. So Sorry. now we are on to the second story. Good morning. Good morning. It is Tuesday, May 26th. And so yesterday I ran out of space on my phone to finish recording to show you the process of buying for food baskets for this upcoming two week section. Um, but we will continue on and I may have been a little bit tired afterwards. So the food is still sitting in my car. Um, anything that wouldn't spoil, of course. Um, and so this morning we're gonna bring it all into the living room, line it up and start back. Whether 
weather update. My phone says it is 83 degrees on this Tuesday morning at 10, 18 in the morning with a real feel of 95, partly cloudy. Not too bad. And here you have it. We have, would you like the grand tour? We have maseca, which is corn flour, which they use to make tortillas. We have rice. We have a couple mop heads for a couple of our moms that I've noticed have been mopping the floor with old shirts. We have some cereal because I promised one of our deaf boys um, some cornflakes because he was out of cornflakes and that's quite the tragedy in the morning. We have rice, we have beans, we have coffee, we have sugar. We have oatmeal, we have spaghetti, we have eggs, we have um, chicken bouillon, which they use to season a lot of their food. We have salt, we have white flour for um, flour tortillas. We have pasta sauce. And then we have more sugar and we have milk and we have um, shortening and we have soap um, for laundry and we have soap to clean the floor. We have some hand sanitizer, we have some hand soap, we have some toilet paper, we have some dish soap. So that all there. Oh, and we have, um, that's back there, we have some jello and some Kool-Aid mixes as well. So I think I covered it. I think that's all that's there. So now it's time to grab these handy dandy bags and sort. with the temperature outside being 86 degrees with the real fill temp of being 97 now. Um, so we have our items sorted into smaller bags so that we can group those bags together to be able to distribute to families. So I just wanted to show you um, briefly what will be going to um, the families here in town that are part of our ministry. So in this bag we have um, two bags of oatmeal, a bag of coffee, and a couple pounds of sugar. In this bag, we have four pounds of beans and four pounds of rice. Five pounds of um, corn flour. A couple things of toilet paper, um, some floor cleaner, dish soap, um, laundry soap, hand, uh, bar soap. And there's some hand sanitizer in that one. Um, there's a limit on the hand sanitizer, so I try to pick it up and then kind of save it to decide when to distribute it into the families that I know um, who will need it. Um, in this bag, we have cornflakes, and we have some milk, and then the shortening stuff that they cook with. We have here, we have a couple packages of spaghetti, some chicken bouillon, some drink mix um, or jello. We have pasta sauce, we have salt, and we have white flour. Just a one pound bag, it's not very much. Um, and then we will have eggs. And then I also have six chickens to distribute. And we have two mop heads for two of our moms. I know who need it. So, um, but this week I did purchase a lot extra, as you can see, um, more than, um, more bags than the families that we have in the ministry right now. But it's because, um, I was talking to one mom and she was like, Hey Ellie, like, I know that you have special permission to be able to deliver food. Do you think we could get permission to go to the village where I'm from and give some to my family? I know they won't tell me that they're in need, but I know that they're in need right now. Um, or, you know, my brother-in-law has been out of work for so long, you know, I know their family needs. And so I'm hearing stories <laughs> of more and more families, of course, and, you know, the more that you drive down the street and you start looking at people and you start wondering, hmm, I wonder if that family has any food at their house. So this week we did up some extra bags um, just for that purpose. And um, my plan is to give um, a couple of families I have in mind is to give them a couple extra bags and say, okay, now I want you to take these and um, bless someone that you know that in your community that um, is in need of food right now. So these bags aren't enough to like feed a family for a week by any means. Um, I mean, it's four pounds of beans. <laughs> so if you eat that for every meal, 
um, every day, you know, that's not going to go for very many days. But it is something, it is something to help them during this time. Um, and that, so that's what we have. So um, now I'm going to start tying up bags, I guess, and grouping them together. But that's kind of what um, it looks like right now to do um, food distribution. So this happens once every two weeks. And just an update um, as far as just the whole coronavirus situation goes here, um, really not a lot has changed. Um, we've been under this two-week cycle for a little bit now, um, and it really sounds like we're going to be under this two-week cycle for a long time. So um, it really sounds like we are going to be shut down in quarantine um, as a country for um, the unforeseeable future. Um, and that we will be on this two week schedule of everyone has one day every two weeks to be able to go out and do their necessary business. Um, but that also means that there's more businesses that are not able to open at this time. There's more people who are still unable to work um, and unable to provide for their families at this time. Um, as far as numbers go, um, as of last night, the report was that there were uh, uh, 596 tests processed and 239 positive cases of COVID-19 in the entire country. Um, and just as a comparison, um, Honduras is pretty similar in um, land mass and population as the lower peninsula of Michigan. So it's pretty, pretty comparable. Um, so 239 positive cases um, only one was from our department. So we have had a few cases in our department recently, um, but not very many. Um, so we had one, one here in the department of Lampira. We had two deaths yesterday, and we had five recoveries. So in total, right now, we have 400, we have a total of 4,189 cases as of, as of today. Um, 182 of those have passed away, 473 have recovered. So that makes our death rate right now about 4.3% of those that have been reported um, to the health department who have tested and have been reported to the health, health department. And we have about 11.3% recovery rate, again, according to the health department that has been documented. Um, currently of our active cases, we have 446 people in the entire country who are hospitalized. 400 are in stable condition. We have 26 in serious condition and 20 in ICU. So again, those stats are for the whole country. Um, and we do have a few active cases in our department of Limpira. Um, but that's kind of where it stands. Um, as for the people, they're kind of in the same situation. Yes, there is fear of the virus, but there's also a lot of fear of um, providing for their families, a lot of fear of their businesses, a lot of fear of their employment. Um, and just the uncertainty that that brings. So that's kind of um, where we're at. Um, again, if you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks again for your support during this time. Um, and that, so I think that's about it. I'm gonna get back to work over here. Talk to you soon.